welcome back. Okay, we're going to look at the design brief today and the design brief is just a short paragraph at the beginning of your project that describes what you're going to make and what problem you're going to solve. The design brief is the first step in the design process and there are approximately six steps to each design process. We're looking at the first one today and that's the design brief and often we need to interview a client to find out what their problem is. Here's one, it's about Freddy the Worm. I got it on a slide for you that we're gonna analyze it and take it apart. Have a quick look. Bit of a silly problem, yes but it is a problem. And the problem is that the mud keeps getting into Freddy the Worm's eyes. And that means he can't navigate through the soil. He can't find his way home. He gets lost, he doesn't have a sat nav, doesn't have an iPhone to call his, his, his mum and dad to find out where they are in the garden. Okay, so it's a real issue for Freddy the Worm. And we need to solve that problem. So. That's what I start with in my, in my project. I start off with identifying the problem and write it up. Again, just a few short sentences. What is the problem? Next, we make the design brief to solve that problem. Just a few short sentences. So I'm gonna design some headwear. I don't know what it's gonna look like yet, but something that will slip over his head and enable him to see through the ground, through the dirt, and so that mud doesn't get into his eyes. That way I solve the problem. Yes, Lorraine, what is it? Yes, it's a cup of tea. Yes, those are my biscuits, they're not yours. What? Well, yeah, as soon as I finish this, I'm gonna have a cup of tea. No. <laughs> Well, I guess it is a dusty workshop and it is a bit mucky on the top there. So, yes, it is a bit hygienic, unhygienic. Oh, I see what you mean. It's a design problem. You want me to come up and solve the problem. Okay, okay, let's find a bit of wire. And I've got to get those biscuits off the ground so that they don't touch the dust there. Okay, so that's not too bad, is it? So we can elevate it. We might put it on a dish or something, or because I don't have a dish, let's find something in the workshop. Um, got a bit of wire. Here's one. Let's bend that around there a little bit. Okay, so if we pop that on there. Okay. With a bit of luck, my biscuits will sit on there and I've solved the problem. That's all it is, okay? So I can go back, that's my first working prototype. I can take that back into the workshop, uh, redesign it, take another look at the materials uh, and see what I can perfect. And I might come up with a marketable product. Yes, by the time I've done that, the rain, the tea will be cold. Oh, so now I've got to warm the tea up as well. Okay. So if I pop that there, there's a candle from your birthday. Thank goodness you're only one. Okay. Pop that on there. So now I've got my tea warmer and my biscuit holder in one. All I've got to do now is look at to see if I can combine the two together in some form of design and I've kept my tea warm uh, I don't want it to get cold I, and and a method of holding my biscuits so they don't get dusty on my dusty old workbench right happy now Lorraine good okay can we move on really <laughs> don't give me another problem like that okay
welcome back. So we've looked at the design brief, we've looked at analysing the design brief, and then the final piece that we want to do is an initial specification. So all that is is a list of things that you want your product to achieve. And I suggest you use Access FM and uh, this document is in the link below. If you click on that, it will take you to the website and you can download it for yourself. And it just takes you through what the headings or suggestions could be uh, for your list of priorities for your project. And one of those might be cost, for example. And you decide in your initial specification, it must cost between 10 and 20 pounds. And that's absolutely fine. Your research later will tell us in more detail how much these things cost on the open market. And we'll adjust the specification at a later date. But just for the time being, to start your project, to, to guide your research, we need a very short list of things that your product must do. It must achieve, all right? And if you use Active FM, that would be the quickest and easiest way of achieving that. Well done, thank you for watching. Welcome back. So we've looked at the design brief. We have a pretty good idea now what we need to do. We need to identify the problem. Within the design brief, we also need now to think about the who, what, where, when, and how this will affect our project. So include those in your design brief and you're done. The next part we need to look at is analyzing the brief. So in order to do that, I've made you a simple chart that will guide you through those steps. And that's it. Uh, that's the first part of our project, uh, the design brief, the first part of the design process finished. Okay, so I've made these goggles for Freddy. They're very, very small. And what I want to do now, just put them on Freddy and see what they're like. If they've got a nice fit, do I need to correct them? Okay, now he was just over there in that corner this morning. So if we pop over. Freddy? Freddy? Freddy, he's gone. Freddy's gone. Freddy, 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 where are you Freddy? I think we're gonna have to try this another day. I've lost Freddy.